Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to build this kind of application, uh, player manager application you can say. We are going to have a simple form where you can add the player information. When you add the player, that player will be added in this particular list. And here you can add and uh, remove the points which you are going to assign to the player. A very simple application but we are going to look into a different concepts of Swell.js in this example. So we are going to start from very basic. This is our Swell app.swell component. Here what we are going to do, let's remove the button component. Here inside uh, we are going to have the default list of players. You can see the existing players which has a name and points we can assign. This is a numeric. Similarly, we have like a lot of other players. Okay, these are the points and uh, we already have these two other components in the whole app like one is a player component which will render the player card and another is the list of all the players so we can import player component from player.svelte and there is going to be another component which will provide us the form using which we can add the new player and we can create these two files with just empty data for now inside this div we are going to have these components one is the add player component which will render some kind of a form and then we will do the if else kind of conditional rendering if we got the the players if you can say the the players dot length if that is equal, equal to zero that means we don't have any player no players and here we can do if else right so if this is true then we are good otherwise we are going to look into the else part that means the player has the length right and we will just uh, complete this if else block first is else and then this is if Oh, sorry there is no else we are going to write for each block so if else if and inside this we know that we are going to have for each I mean we are going to iterate onto all the elements so each players as player single iteration and this is how we need to close each and inside this we can render the player component and we need to pass the name of the player which is player.name the points player.points and we are going to have a event which will help us to remove the player from uh, this list that we will add later that will be a component event coming from the player component okay so player is going to have these uh, properties as a path props we are going to pass name and points player dot points and player dot name we are rendering so we are just running a loop and we are trying to render okay now first let's build a player component in player component we are passing these two props which is player name and the player points so we can create a simple player component 
a player component will expose we will be receiving these two props so i will just copy the code from app.svelte and just use the same inside script what we need to do we need to first create two variables we'll import these things later so we are going to import export let name because we are receiving these props let name export uh, let points and then we can uh, write the html for this like what all things we are going to render for the component so we are going to render the player card component and here we can simply render what will be the name of the player so we can render that so first is the name okay this is the player card and here we are going to have uh, different uh, actions okay you can also delete a particular player so we can have button and here you can do on click whenever you do click we are going to call on delete method so there can be simple x icon which we are going to use to delete and rest you can add some classes something like that okay and we can also render the points which this component is getting i mean this particular player is getting this is points so basic example we can think about this and we have on click so on delete function we have to define in our script this is going to send an action this is going to send an event to the parent component because we want to delete this particular player from the list so we are going to create a dispatcher event right so we have to import this create dispatcher event and we can dispatch this particular event on delete we can just get the name okay and i can simply say dispatch and what is the action what is the event we wanted to dispatch remove player remove player and the data which you are going to pass is just the name of the player now we need to handle this remove player at the parent component which is app swelt js and here on remove player handle remove this is the method we are going to call at the parent component and we will define this method handle remove will just remove this based on the name so we can just do a simple filter because i think name is unique and we can just run simple filter and reassign the players with the updated value so this is simple function remove handle remove and we already have the players we can just simply do the players dot filter a simple filter and based on e dot details this is the event from this we are getting these values and we can just simply do the players dot filter if player dot name is matching with the e dot detail do not uh, do not do not return that so it will just filter out that particular it will exclude that particular name and keep the rest of them so we are doing the reactive assignment so the players will get updated similarly there can be another function from another component which is add player function add player and it's like we are going to get this new player from the child uh, from the event component event same we have received here e dot play e dot detail similarly we are going to receive this from the child component e dot detail and this will be an object so we can just reassign the players okay this is the existing players i have and this is the new player 
I am adding. This is again the reactive assignment, so it will rebuild. Uh, I mean, I mean, it will uh, refresh the component and it will try to show the updated list of players. Now, add players. Add player is just going to be a simple form component. We are going to because we are going to receive. We are going to initialize the the form with the default value. So let player has let's say name is empty and points are zero and we are going to return I mean we are going to have HTML with the form and we will do on submit and we will bind the properties with this form and we have on submit method there we are going to call the event on submit that is going to dispatch the event to the parent component copy the event dispatcher create event dispatcher and you can dispatch the event and that event should contains the the player object name object uh, payload so here we are going to dispatch add player and the object you are going to send is the player object and once that is done you re reset the player value and you can make the name again uh, empty and the points again will be zero a simple form so here we can just create this simple form with the in property bindings i will just replace this form with the property binding this is simple form with a grid we can just do this and here we are going doing the binding this form is doing binding with this object bind value if I show you bind value with the players dot point and then there is a button so when you click on to this button what is happening it you are calling the on submit method and that is triggering the add player event it's sending the add player component event to the parent component with this player object okay this player object is already we have done the two-way data binding so whatever you are typing in this text fields that will be updated and when you submit this form we are sending this add player event to the parent component so again we get go to the app swell component and see how to deal with this add player event so in the app Svelte dot js so we are rendering add player and here on add player we can uh, add this method add player and this method is already there which is adding the player okay so this is how it is working now we can test this when i click on add player now when i click default okay e dot detail okay uh, i missed the argument on the app dot svelte so e dot player this should be our argument E dot detail we got the existing player and the new player okay now it should work I will just enter the, the values so this is just a simple setup the only objective of this example is just to uh, understand how the component communicates how we iterate on to the elements we have how we can send the component events from child component to the parent component how we write the DOM events how we do the property binding it's like two-way data binding we are doing in this add player form and how we are passing the data as a props and how we are doing the conditional rendering how we are doing this if else thing to make it required all the things so it is able to read the add the new player so that's it so we have covered these two different examples one is the player management app and another app is the github search these both the examples when you write by yourself will help you to understand the core concept core syntax of the Svelte.js how it is working and all these things now we what we are going to do is we are going to see the, the how we can integrate the, the Svelte.js with the APIs we will deep down uh, more into the components the lifecycle hooks and how we can use the store in the Svelte.js app and now we started uh, using to use Svelte.js for other different applications like the the big applications we are writing in react how we can do all those things with the simple Svelte.js there are other concepts like working with slots working with the 
with the stores in swell js all those concepts i will be covering in the coming sessions